no one is absolutely alone. We all maintain human connections somehow. It doesn't matter if online, at work, or at the gym. So what I'm bringing this video is essentially the loneliness we feel within the private circle. Uh, when we don't have close friends, family or a partner around. Moving to another country is a huge change. And the loneliness that comes together with this choice is, I would say, half chosen. You know that you are leaving your friends and family behind and that the people who will belong to your new circle will not necessarily share the same background or have the same humor or think the same way. If you're a student and go to college or if you have a lot of people from your home country around you, you have less chances of feeling lonely. But this feeling is actually never truly gone. Other factors can contribute for you feeling more or less lonely. Like uh, if you're older, your lifestyle, your occupation, or even mental struggles like social anxiety, depression, and others. I've seen on social media many people showing how well they deal with being alone but let's be honest being alone hurts and hurts sometimes a lot and what is the problem with this that's okay it's human being alone in another country is a bit more complex because it's not only about mere social interactions but also about cultural identity being apart from our own culture also make us feel very lonely, independently of having a new social circle at the new place. Being able to relate and receive this genuine validation that comes with being around your own people and immersed in your own cultural environment also take a toll on feeling lonely. There is also many other reasons why feeling alone in another country hurts a lot more. When it's about living abroad is that, with a few exceptions, your old contacts and your old relationships fade away consistently to a point where you're gonna notice and you're gonna lose more and more contact with the ones who belonged to your circle before. Even the close friends reduce contact and it's something that we cannot fix. And the reasons are many. It's not only about if the friendship is really strong or not. It's also about time zone difference, for example. There are many ways to minimize the feeling of being lonely. And one of them is meeting, for example, a group of expats of your home country. This honestly can help, but to a certain point. This is a true source of mutual support, but we know that close and long-lasting friendships also depend on sharing interests and having kind of a similar background and many other factors that might influence. Your chances are naturally smaller. I find the process of bonding a bit more difficult in some cultures. Not all of them and not all people. But in my case, I live in Germany and that's not so easy. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that it's much more difficult. And by bonding, I mean true friendships and long-lasting ones. What is interesting about building friendship in another country is that this will more likely happen if both 
potential friends are facing the same circumstances. For example, between two students in an exchange program or between two foreigners in a language class. But apart from these cases, if you have an ordinary routine, and depending on the country you are, sometimes can happen, sometimes not. Depends always on each other's experiences. After a while being alone in another country and having all this influencing deeply your social life, we kind of learn how to feel comfortable with it, to accept the reality how it is and to reformulate how to use our own time. This is exactly the point where I wanted to get. There is obviously a good side of being alone. The first obvious reason you have more time for yourself. You are able to invest all of it on you. It's time to improve your skills, to engage in new projects or learn new things and try new things. For example, learning the new language. It sounds cheesy, but essentially, it's the best moment to learn how to enjoy your own company. It's exactly when we can move at our own speed and achieve so many milestones and do things exactly how we want. Being alone in another country brings a lot in terms of self-development. In my case, for example, I can see myself under a complete different perspective and this helps me with overcoming my own obstacles we can learn more about ourselves appreciate our strengths and work on our flaws i think success is something completely related to the best use of our own resources when we don't know how to manage ourselves we have absolutely no idea of how much potential it's inside us. To me, apart from some days, uh, the last months have been essentially great. I was never so free, and by free, I mean free from the other's judgments, and also free from thinking too much about what the others think. I always had a serious problem with caring too much about what the others expect of me, what I should do or not do, to not disappoint others. Being alone in another country is a big chance for self-discovery to happen in an environment that takes you completely out of your comfort zone. You can experience the new in a very organic way. You see this a whole new world with your own eyes, without others' influences or opinions. So it's only you and you. You have the chance to produce more, create more, be more yourself, to plan, replan, and restart, and even to fail. You have the chance to do something for you and grow, truly grow. If you let yourself fully sink in this experience. You will never be the same. So just embrace it. So this is what I wanted to take out of my chest today. Comment what you think about it. If you go through the same issues and if you have something to add or an experience that you would like to share, please comment uh, down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.